Hey, boys and girls, we're so glad that you've decided to join us today for Kids Worship at Home. We hope that you'll sing and do the motions with us, that you'll read the big picture question and open God's Word as we study it together. Thanks so much for joining us in worship today. It's time for our big picture question and answer. It's where we learn about who God is, who Jesus is, and who God says that we are. I'll read the question and then we'll read it together. Who saves us from our sin? Can you read that with me? Who saves us from our sin? And this is the answer. Only Jesus saves us from our sin. Let's read together. Only Jesus saves us from sin. Great job. Thanks for reading that with us. Hey guys, it's time to worship through music. So get up and get ready to dance and sing with me and some of my friends.
It was time for the Israelites to celebrate Passover. Many Israelites had traveled to Jerusalem to remember what God had done when he rescued his people from slavery in Egypt. Jesus and his disciples traveled to Jerusalem too. When they arrived near Bethphage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead into a village. As soon as you enter the village, Jesus told them, you will find a young donkey tied there. No one has ever sat on it. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Say, the Lord needs it. The disciples did as Jesus asked. As they untied the donkey, its owner said to them, why are you untying the donkey? The Lord needs it, they said. Then they brought the donkey to Jesus, threw their robes onto the donkey, and helped Jesus get on it. People spread their robes along the road and others spread palm branches cut from the fields. The whole crowd of the disciples praised God with a loud voice for all the miracles they had seen. The King who comes in the name of the Lord is the blessed one. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Hosanna. The word Hosanna means save now. The people knew Jesus was their promised King and they hoped he would save them from Rome. Some of the religious leaders said, teacher, Tell your disciples to be quiet. Jesus answered, If they did not praise me, the rocks would praise me. The next day, Jesus went to the temple complex in Jerusalem and drove out everyone buying and selling in the temple. He quoted the prophet Isaiah and said, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you are making it into a den of thieves. While Jesus was in the temple complex, People who were blind and people who were lame came to him. The blind and the lame were not allowed to worship in the temple. Jesus healed them. Other religious leaders saw Jesus' miracle and heard the children saying, Hosanna to the son of David, or our king is here. They were angry and asked Jesus, do you hear what these children are saying? They are saying you are a king. Yes, Jesus replied. The psalmist said, you have prepared praise from the mouths of children and nursing infants. Jesus left them and went to the town of Bethany to spend the night. During Jesus' triumphal entry, the people welcomed him as king. Jesus was the Messiah spoken about by the prophet Zechariah. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. One day, Jesus will return to earth on a white horse as king over everything. If you have your Bible, turn with me to Matthew chapter 21. We're going to look at verses 1 through 10 together. Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 10. That's on page 1050 in your Following Jesus Bible. Now you may be thinking, why are we going back to the book of Matthew? We've been reading Acts or reading Paul's letters together. Today is a special day. It's called Palm Sunday. It's a Sunday where we remember how Jesus started the week leading up to his crucifixion and resurrection on his crucifixion on Friday, his resurrection on Easter Sunday. We're going to look at this story together. So let's read uh, Matthew 21. Verses 1 through 10 says this. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. 
This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, on a foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put on them their cloaks, and he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road and cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And he entered Jerusalem. The whole city was stirred up, saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. Boys and girls, this is an incredible beginning to the week for Jesus. He's come into Jerusalem and he knows what the week holds in front of him. But as he comes into Jerusalem, he's riding on a humble beast of burden, on a donkey. Not on a war horse, not at the head of an army, but riding a beast of burden. And as he comes in, the people of Jerusalem, they lay their cloaks out in front of him and they proclaim with loud voices together that this is the true son of David. Come to rescue them. That God has sent the Messiah. What the people of Jerusalem spoke that day, what they shouted and praised that day was true. They may have forgotten it later in the week, but what they said was true. Jesus is the one true king that Israel had been waiting for. Over and over, the prophets had promised that God was going to send someone to rescue Israel from sin, to rescue them from the situation that they had found themselves in. He was here. The one true king, the one true son of David had come. Boys and girls, that is good news for us. Because all the promises that God made to David are true in Jesus. That he would be the king to rule and reign over God's people forever. That is good news for us because that one true king rescues us. Just as he rescues Israel, he rescues each of us. Let's pray together. Father God, we are grateful that Jesus is the one true king, the one true son of David. Prepare us this week as we get ready for your last supper, as we get ready for to remember your death on the cross, and as we celebrate your resurrection on Easter Sunday. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. How well were you paying attention today to our Bible story video and Mr. John's sermon? Let's find out by playing a game show to review. Where did Jesus' disciples find the young donkey? Standing by the road waiting for them? Tied up as soon as they entered the village? Or with a merchant at the market? If you said, tied up as soon as they entered the village, great job, that's the right answer. What city did Jesus ride into on the donkey? Jerusalem? Bethlehem or Nazareth? If you said Jerusalem, that's right. What did people spread on the ground for Jesus to ride over? Coats and palm branches, towels and blankets, or grass and flowers? If you said coats and palm branches, great job, that's the right answer. What did Jesus say would happen if the people kept silent? Angels would come to praise him, the curtain in the temple would rip, or the stones would cry out. If you said the stones would cry out, great job, that's the right answer. Thanks so much for joining us in worship today. We hope that you enjoyed learning about Jesus as the one true Messiah, the one true King sent by God. We hope that you'll join us again next week. Bye, boys and girls.